You know, there's a, there's a sentence in the founding documents of the Pew Research Center that I always think back to, which goes like this. Fact-based information is the fuel democracies run on. It's the raw material from which societies identify problems and formulate solutions. We're really looking for places where society is about to make important decisions. So we study everything from new laws and norms around digital privacy, how we lead our online lives, to what people think about the potential for gene editing, from changes in the way people are practicing their religion and expressing themselves spiritually, to how they feel about their racial identity in a fast-changing culture. And there's a waterfront of topics in between. The work that we do at the Pew Research Center is nonpartisan and not advocacy, and we want to understand the American public's viewpoints on a whole range of issues. Our work, because it's nonpartisan and non-advocacy, gets at those questions from so many different angles. What we've been doing is we've looked at topics uh, that don't have a lot of existing data. So we did a survey of U.S. Jews because there hadn't been one done in many years. We did surveys of Muslims in the United States because no one had done that. We look at these communities that, that haven't had good analysis done, and then doing that analysis, we allow people to ground their conversations, their speculations, their understandings in a set of facts. For me, being at Pew means being part of something larger than myself an opportunity to make a contribution to society, to the public debate, without being involved in the debate itself. Uh, I always tell my team to take that responsibility very seriously. We don't move fast and break things here. In fact, I joke with them that we move cautiously and question ourselves at every step, uh, because it's a big responsibility to inform the public. I think part of the trick is honoring where we came from, while at the same time evolving. Most recently, through a new group that we have called Data Labs, trying to marry established survey methodologies with new computational social science tactics, big data, for example. How do you put those things together in order to give a greater surround sound to what citizens are thinking and feeling at any given moment? What I'm most proud of here at the center is, is the rigor. We care deeply about getting it right. And that's, that might sound precious, but in today's environment, there are a lot of ways to create numbers. But creating really good numbers, creating numbers that are sound and grounded, uh, that really are inclusive and representative of the full spectrum of inputs, and that are analyzed with caution and care, where people aren't amping up the numbers to try to make a point, but simply letting the numbers speak for themselves. That's largely invisible, but it's that that really underlies all of what we can do here as an organization. I'm really proud to work at Pew because I think getting good data about the experience of the public, their thoughts, their fears, um, their reaction to what's going on across the nation, what's going on in their lives, it's important for us to measure that and to measure it well. And no place cares more about measuring that well than the Pew Research Center. You know, when it comes down to it, these are the things that matter at Pew. We want to be insightful, we want to be rigorous, and we want to be transparent. And most of all, in this current climate, we want to be neutral. And we work very hard every day to make that happen.